Oh man, my name is uh, my name is Mohanad. I uh, I've been living here in the U.S. for uh, four and a half years now, and I think I need to speak to the manager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, uh, one thing has come to my attention lately uh, on this uh, beautiful weekend that I had in Washington State uh, by, uh, by an immigration officer who told me that I must carry my papers with me all the time. Uh, so just in case I have them right here, uh, yeah, I'm just going to put them right here in case there's someone here. Yeah, and I, I brought some stuff with me, you know, just to... Uh, Everything I have, uh, including this beautiful thing that I sleep next because I love this place so much. <laughs> this is a part of the set where I'm like burning the light because I'm just upset. <laughs> you know? Is it okay, Jaren? Was that? Go for it, okay, yeah. Uh, thank you so much, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched the news, uh, but I've been there. Uh, yeah, you can Google my name if you can spell it. Uh, yeah, it's Mohammed, but instead of Mohammed, it's Mohammed. Uh, yeah, and I had a fun time this weekend because I was in Pullman, Washington, doing comedy there. Uh, which went super well. Uh, yeah, like super amazing. Coleman, Washington, the best comedy crowd I've ever had. They sucked. Uh, I bombed so hard, like everyone like marking themselves safe, safe on Facebook right after my set. It was so bad. And then I took a Greyhound bus to come back to Portland. Yeah, and that was all over the news uh, because I got stopped by uh, our wonderful friends uh, at the yeah, Immigration Patrol, which they were super nice, honestly. Yeah, they did not look racist at all. <laughs> they looked beautiful as <laughs> Yeah, so that's why I have to carry everything with me just in case they watch comedy. They're lo they love comedy. <laughs> they love comedy so much. Yeah. And it's all over the news now because I tweeted about it. And here's the worst part. It's not what happened to me and being detained in It's now the fact that the whole country knows that I can only afford to ride Greyhound. <laughs> and it's so smelly. And that was the worst part of the trip. But I'm here now. I don't know if that's a, what a great way to end the set, because I will never do this again. I'm not filming this for anything. Uh, but I just, I just, I just, I was just, I was just upset. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, please follow me on Twitter. Uh, yeah, feel, feel free to yell stuff at me. I've, people have been doing it for the past two days uh, while they try to debunk my story. <laughs> yeah, because if I like, if I made that story up, I would have said that I was on first class Alaska or something. <laughs> yeah, the feedback from Twitter. Honestly, I would say 75 to 80% people like were very supportive and people were like very nice and like saying nice things and like sending like really cool DMs and being nice. And then the 20% is absolute uh, garbage. I honestly wasn't sure if I was gonna like even talk about it. Uh, but just like 10 minutes into my set, I'm, I'm honestly I've been angry all day. Like I've been upset all day and I'm just like, I just want to talk to someone or like, uh, and like just like express myself. I was like, I don't care if it's funny or not. I'm just, I'm just going to talk about it. Uh, so I just, I just did that and I just like, kind of like talk about what happened and try to make uh, jokes about it because that's my only, that's the only way I can talk and stuff. And when something bad happens to me, I have to like write jokes about it or something, or else it's just gonna be like in my head. So that was like a, what I was trying to do on stage right now. 
And also, like for like to the people who didn't see what happened, maybe they will go home and see it. Because uh, it's it's important to me that I mean, for me, I don't. I'm not asking for anything. I'm not. I'm not asking for people to support or not support me. This this whole thing was like to highlight like a bigger problem. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day. Uh, I am privileged enough to, to be an educated person, uh, someone who talks English really well and knows the rights and stuff. Uh, so I'm, I'm fine, I can like deal with stuff. Uh, this was like mostly to shed the lights on people like, who don't have those privileges. Uh, like people who can't speak English well, people like, who do not know their rights, they're not, they're not sure what they, do, what they do in situations like that. And also for people who are citizens or legal, like uh, residents and stuff, to know how to help people when they uh, when they need when they need to.